Next, it's the award for Into Film Club of the Year, 13 and over. Now, I am honoured to welcome an ambassador for Into Film. He's won an Oscar, a BAFTA, a Golden Globe Award for his portrayal of Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything. And, <gasps> I can hear. and last year, yeah, he appeared as the fabulous, the adorable, the wonderful Newt Scamander in J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> Hey guys, um, wow, hi. Uh, it's such a treat to be here. Um, as Edith said, I'm an ambassador for Interfilm, and I think it's an amazing thing um, that Interfilm does. And having sat here and watched the show so far, I'm so impressed by what all of you guys do. Um, it's like, genuinely inspiring, seeing the clips up there from the films that you've made, from the, some of the, st uh, is it called stop animation-y things? Like, I mean, like, it's, it's the work ethic that you guys have all put in from students to teachers to everyone is kind of mind-blowing. It's also the best speeches I've ever heard in an award ceremony. Um, so it's my pleasure to be here, and I am, get the card the right way around, uh, I am presenting the award for Interfilm Club of the Year 13 and over. And the nominations are Arts and Media School, Islington, London. That's to make it competitive as to who gets the biggest roar. Um, that was a big roar, by the way. Uh, John Paul Academy, Somerston, Glasgow. It's even Scots in London at the moment, right? Milton Keynes College, Leadenhall, Milton Keynes. Um, let's take a look at the nominees in action. At Arts and Media Film Club, we use film to inspire students by asking students to watch films and to make films as well. They've had some setbacks in their filmmaking, but because we have a reflective ethos in the school, they're very keen to look at their mistakes and to improve on their mistakes. What I love about our film club is that we all, we all work together as a team. Although we're very different, we all have very creative ideas to do with filming, editing and acting. And when we come together, we can push ourselves to do the best of our abilities. They are an ambitious group of students. They have a deep appreciation of the craft of filmmaking. We should win because we have a strong message about collaborative practice. Success is not one person's story, it's a collective story. What makes our club unique is that everyone puts so much effort into it and everyone loves it. We encourage the pupils to take ownership. They've really surprised us with how passionate they are about it. They've run their own film festival. Some of the older children run a mentoring programme where they help some of the younger kids. Pupils took it upon themselves to write their own newsletter. They were just so passionate about film and they were really keen to share this. The biggest achievement is when our junior club were able to get involved with practical filmmaking skills and make the Glaswegian retelling of Romeo and Juliet that was very entertaining for us to see. The most memorable moment for us um, is now the fact that Senior Film Club is timetabled and that's allowing them to complete their Youth Arts Award. It has inspired so many of our older students to go on and seek careers within the creative industry because of things that they have seen within the film. What makes our club unique is we embed it into our curriculum, so our students are doing a level three media production program. We use film to inspire our students by allowing them to deconstruct what they've seen, so in terms of cinematography and editing, and when it comes to their own productions, they're able to incorporate some of those techniques into their own work. The thing I love about my film club is making films and showing it to my class to get their feedback, to see how I can improve in my future films. We as older students get to mentor younger students and show them our techniques and hopefully they employ in their work as well. The reason why I think we should win this award is because my students have earned it. They've taken on the resources, they've taken on the learning from our curriculum and they've taken it further and so I really do feel that they deserve to win it. And the winner of the 2017 Interfilm Club of the Year 13 and over is John Paul Academy, Summerson, Glasgow. We would 
would just like to thank Interfilm for giving us this prestigious honour. It has been a fantastic journey that we have been on as a film club. We could not have achieved this award without the help of so many people who must be acknowledged. We would like to thank Interfilm for coming up with such a fantastic idea to blend film and education. We would especially like to thank our Interfilm Scotland's Kirsty, Jo and Katie for all their support and guidance. Closer to home, we need to thank our head teacher, Mr McGee, and our head of English, Mrs Keogh, for really buying into what we have been trying to build at John Paul Academy. External partners are a vital part of the film club experience that we have to offer at John Paul Academy. So we would like to thank Glasgow City Council, Beth and her team at GMAC, and the Youth, and the youth Arts Hub. Thank you for your help in making us Film Club of the Year. Finally, we would like to thank the leaders of our film club, Mr Daly and Ms Thompson, who we are allowed to call by their first name for one day and one day only. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael and Jacqueline. It must have been difficult for you to take time off work to bring us here. <laughs> we would like to finish by thanking everyone involved in filmmaking. You have provided the inspiration behind what is magic about what we do. Film does not discriminate and it should be accessible to everyone. Thank you, Thank you to Interfilm's hard work. This is possible.